Hello children, today we are doing sets exercise 6b. This is found on page number 54. Question 1. If set A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, state which of the following statements are true and which are false. So we have been given set A and we know what the elements or members of set A are. Now we've been given a few statements. We need to say if those statements are true or false. First one, 2 belongs to A. Now this symbol stands for belongs to or it also means is a member of. So if I have to read the statement, I will read it as 2 belongs to set A or 2 is a member of set A. Okay, so now let's see whether 2 belongs to set A. Yes, we can see 2 there. 2 is here, isn't it? So that means 2 is an element of set A. 2 belongs to set A. That statement is true. Second one, 5 and 6 belong to set A. True, 5 and 6 belong to set A. Question 3, 3, 4 and 7 belong to set A. We can see 3 and 4, but 7 does not belong to set A. So this statement is false. Question 4. 2 and 8 belong to set A. 2 is there, but 8 is not there. So this statement is false. Question 2. If set B has all these elements, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14, State which of the following statements are correct and which are wrong. Also, write the wrong statements correctly. So, we have been given the elements of set B and a few statements. We have to say which is correct and which is wrong. And if it is wrong, we have to correct the wrong statement. Let's start. Question 1. 5 belongs to set B. Now, if you look carefully, you cannot find 5 in the elements of set B. So that means this statement is wrong, isn't it? This statement is wrong. Now we need to correct the statement. How do we correct it? We say 5 does not belong to set B. Now how do we write that? When I put this symbol, it means belongs to. But if I strike it off like this, it means does not belong to. So 5 does not belong to set B. That's how I write it. Question 2. 12 belongs to B? Yes, 12 belongs to B. So that statement is correct. Third one. 14 belongs to B? Yes, 14 does belong to B. So that statement is also correct. Fourth one. 9 belongs to set B? No, 9 is not there, isn't it? So that statement is wrong. Okay, so we write wrong and we say 9 does not belong, does not belong to set B. Let's continue. Question 5. B is a set of even numbers between 2 and 16. Now, what are all the even numbers between 2 and 16? 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14. So, that's correct, isn't it? Set B has all those elements. So, this statement is Correct. Question 6. 4, 6 and 10 are members of set B. Let's look at that. 4, 6 and 10. Yes. So that statement is also correct. Question 3. Again, state whether true or false. Question 1. Sets 4, 9, 6, 2 and 6, 2, 4, 9 are not the same. That is a statement. Now, if they have all the same members, if the elements are same in both the sets, that means they are the same. The order in which they are put does not matter as long as all the members are there. Now, let's see if all the members are there. 4, we have 4 in the other set, 9, 9 in the other set, 6, 6, 2 and 2. That means both these sets are the same. But what does the statement say? These two sets are not the same is what it says. So that means this is 
false. This statement is false because both the sets are the same. Second one, sets 0, 1, 3, 9, 4 and 4, 0, 1, 3, 9 are the same. Let's see if they are the same. If they have the same elements, they are the same. The order does not matter. 0, okay, 0. 1, 1. 3, 3. 9, 9. 4 and 4. Yes. Okay. They have the same elements. That means the sets are the same and the statement is also true. Question 3. Sets 5 and 4 and 5, 4, 4, 5 are not the same. Remember, if they have the same elements, the sets are the same, even if they are repeated. But when we write a set, we don't repeat the elements. Now here let's see if 5 and 4 are there in both the sets. We have 5. Yes, we have 5. We have 4. Yes, we have 4. That means these two sets are the same. But what does the statement say? It says they are not the same. That means the statement is false. Okay. Next one. Sets 8, 3 and 3, 3, 8 are the same. Okay. Let's see if the elements are there. 8. Okay, 3, yes, that means they are the same and the statement also says that. So, this statement is true. Question 5. Collection of bubbles used in the word Allahabad forms a set. Now, what are the collection of bubbles? In this word, Allahabad, what are the bubbles? We have A. Okay, and if I have to make it a set, I will write A like this and this is a set, isn't it? So, this statement is true. Question 6. If P is a set of letters in the word root, then set P is equal to P O R. Okay, now what are the letters? We have R. Do we have it here in this set? Yes. Now, O, yes. We don't repeat it, so we write it only once. Then we have P, yes. So this statement is true. Question 7. If M is the set of words used in the word Mumbai, then M is equal to M, U, B, A, I. Okay, let's see if it's all there. Now M, okay, it's there. U, yes. M, we don't repeat, it's already there. Then B, yes. A, yes. And I, yes. So, the statement is also true. Question 4. Write the set containing the first five natural numbers. So, let's write the set that contains the first five natural numbers. Natural numbers start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and we will close those curly brackets. This is the set containing the first 5 natural numbers. Question 2. The three types of angles. Remember, you've learnt angles and the three types will be angles less than 90 degrees which is acute angle, angle which is equal to 90 degrees, right angle, angle more than 90 degrees, obtuse angle. So, this set is acute angle right angle and obtuse angle. Question 3. The three types of triangles based on their sides. We have learned to classify triangles based on their angles and based on their sides. Now based on their sides you have three types and these are the three types. Equilateral triangle which has all sides equal. Isosceles triangle which has only two sides equal and scalene triangle in which all three sides are of different lengths. Question 4. The members of your family. So, you can include the names of the members of your family in this set. Okay. Question 5. The first six consonants of the English alphabet. Okay. Consonants, you leave out the vowels and write. So, A is a vowel, you leave it out. B so let's put the curly bracket B, C, D, 
You don't write E because it's a vowel. F, G and H. And close brackets. Do we have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have the first six consonants of the English alphabet. Question six. Now we need to write the first four vowels of the English alphabet. So let's start with curly brackets. A, E, I, and O. Okay, we are asked to write only the first four vowels of the English alphabet. A, E, I, and O. Question seven. The names of any three prime ministers of India. Let's start with our present prime minister and two prime ministers before our present prime minister. So we have Mr. Narendra Modi, Dr. Manmohan Singh and Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So these are the three prime ministers. Any three you can write. Question 5. A. Write the members or elements of each set given below. So I have been given a set and these are the members 3, 8, 5, 15, 12 and 7. Let me simply write those members. All I have to do is pick them out and write 3, 8, 5, 15, 12 and 7. Question 2. Let me pick out the members and write. C, M, N, O and S. Question B. This time I have to write the sets. Okay. The elements are given to me. Now I need to write the set. So I write the curly brackets. I draw that first and put all these elements within those curly brackets. 2, 4, 8, 16, 64, 128. Put all the elements, separate them with commas and close curly brackets. Question 2. Again, open curly brackets, write down all those elements, separate them with commas. 3, 5, 15, 45, 75, 90. Close curly brackets. Question 6. Write the set of letters used in the word Bhopal. So let's write the set of letters. So start with curly brackets. Remember when you write, you will use small letters. You will separate them with commas and you will not repeat letters. So all letters used in the word Bhopal. B, small letter, comma, H, O, P, A, L close brackets. So we've written the set of letters used in the word Bhopal. Question 2. Write the set of vowels used in the word Bengal. So be careful. Read your question carefully. This time you don't have to write all the letters. You have to write only vowels. So let's start with curly brackets. Look out for the vowels there. So I have E and A. That's it. So I have E, comma, A and close brackets. Okay, because the question says only vowels. Question 3. Write the set of consonants. So this time it is consonants. You have to be careful with your questions. Read them carefully. Okay, now start curly brackets. Look out for consonants. Don't repeat any letter. So H. Okay, Hong Kong. Okay, H. O is a vowel, I will not write it. Then I go to N. Then I write G. Then I go to the next word, which is K. Then the next letter is O, which is a vowel. Then I have N, which I have already written. And I have written, and I have G, which I have already written. So that's it. H, N, G and K. And I close this with curly brackets. So I've got my set of consonants H, N, G and K. So children, we've come to the end of exercise 6B. In our next video, we will do exercise 6C. Thank you children.